Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to show you how we can build a full RAG application or retrieval augmented generation app using only open source model without using something like OpenAI or Gemini or anything that we should pay for. We are only gonna use the free sources from Hagen Face and then actually we are gonna get a very very good results. So starting with what we are going to do. We're going to use LangChain for this app. We're not going to use OpenAI embeddings or Google Generative AI. We're not going to use also OpenAI LLMs like GBT 3.5 Turbo or GBT 4. None of this. Only open source. And we're going to use Hagen Face models. The first part is going to show, I'm going to show you how we can do the rag with text documentation. And the second one, which is the most important one, honestly, is how we can retrieve information for multiple different PDFs files. Starting with, we have here what we're going to install and download, basically. We have Langchain, Hagenface Hub for using the large language model and uh, embedding, Sentence Transformer, and Sentence Transformer for embedding, VIS, CPU, this, this is the vector database that we're going to use for the first part. Unstructured and Chrome DB and Cython and Tecton and Unstructures. All the stuff is we're going to use it for the second part working with BDFs. Starting with, I want you to go and get your Hagen Face ABI token from over here. Just create a new token, copy it, and run this. And it will open basically a box if you don't have Hagen Face ABI token working. And it will give you a box over here. And you bought your token and hit enter and it will work. Now we need some sort of data just to work with. You can do this with any text file or documentation file. In my case, I'm using the state of union, the text that I got from GitHub over here, and I'm downloading it to be put in inside the Google Colab. After that, you can load it with language chain, and you can see here it's a very long text. Computer doesn't understand this kind of text it's dumb so we need to turn it to something called embeddings embedding will take these words or paragraph or articles in our case our documents and give it to the model that we have and turn it to this kind of number so the computer can understand it computer understand all the numbers so our models also so what we're going to do is split it to chunks this documentation will be split to pieces and we give it to the model to turn it to embedding so we can do whatever what we want with it. After that, after we split it from, after we split this document to chunks, we can put it inside a vector embedding database or a vector store. In our case, we're using the face, which is a very small library. There is a lot of vector databases that we can use. This is a very simple example of, you can, of how you can do a rank. In here, we're going basically Format this document to pieces, to smaller pieces, so we can split it later into chunks. Here we're going to format the document using the join and split on the new lines. Then here we are going to do our split. The language chain have character text splitter that have ability to split document to chunks. Or the chunks have certain size. In our case, we're using the thousand. So basically every single one such word will be a chunk. We have here four chunk and zero will be one, the zero will be the first and three will be the last one. Now we have to do the embedding. We are using the Hagen Face embedding from LangChain also. It's a very small model that you can download and use and I'm already downloaded over here. And this embedding will be able to go over our documentation and basically do a similarity search. Here I'm using the face vector store that I told about and give it the documentation and the embedding that we want. So I ask it a simple question. What did the president say about the Supreme Court? And I do a similarity search. I'm not doing like a, I'm not doing rag actually here. This is just a similarity search just to get stuff up and running. It's like searching inside the database about the record and you get the record. But if you're using the large, large language model, it gives you an answer. Here, we get the results. As you can see, it's a very long text, but it got, that, got us the text or the chunk that have 
the Supreme Court is mentioned. This is not the answer. So using a large language model will give you a better answer. We are doing here a length chain q and &A. I'm using the Hagen phase endpoint, which is the new way of using the Hagen phase models. The old way was using Hagen phase hub, but the new way is Hagen phase endpoint. I'm using the brand new Mistral 7B Instruct version 2. This is not the old one. This is the brand new one. I think it's like week old. And I tell it here, load the Q chain, basically load the Q and A chain, and give it the LM that I'm using. And I ask it the same question. But as you can see here, the president called on Senate to pass three bases of legislation to related to voting rights and camping finance disclosure. So it gave us an answer. Actually, it's not it's not giving us the chunk of text itself. This is what make the Q and A and reg is much much better than similarity search. So I give it another question. What did the president say about the economy? It go and search and do the basically summarization for the chunk. The president spoke about his administration efforts to combat pandemic fraud and blah blah blah. And it took until it's basically give us the final piece of text. Right now we are done with the documents and the text. In PDF it's a little bit different. We have multiple PDFs, it's not just one. So it's gonna do the same thing for it. We're gonna split it to chunks, do embedding but not using OpenAI. Use this embedding and store it in a vector store, Chrome DB or Binecone, whatever vector DB that you want, the result of them. And basically when the user asks the question turn to embedding and we send it to the search or sending to the vector store to semantic search, then give, get the ranked result, send it to the large language model, and it will handle answering our questions. That's basically it. What we're going to do here, I am connecting to my Google Drive. I have a folder called PDFs over here. I have just two small PDFs, just less than four megabytes each one. The first one, Mr. L AI paper, which have the knowledge about how the Mistral AI was trained. And second one was GPT-4 technical report. We get access to the Google Drive. When we run this, it will tell you, I'd give you a bit pop up to allow it to access your Google Drive. Then we using the unstructured BDF loader to load our files and use this loader to put it inside the vector store index creator, which basically will handle the second part, the embedding and basically storing inside our database, a vector database. This will handle the embedding and chunks. The vector store index creator will handle it. The embedding using the hugging face embedding and the text splitting, which character text splitter, the same one that we used in text document. Chunks size is 1000. And here from loaders that we have the PDF that over here. Then I'm here doing my Hagen's face endpoint using the same model Mr. 7B Instruct version 2. In the finally, last part, and we can ask it whatever what we want, the retrieval Q&A from chain type. We give it all the stuff that we have. The LLM, the chain type, the retriever, which basically the Chroma DB that downloaded, and the input key will be the questions. I give it the first questions for the second BDF. How was GBT4 model was trained? As I told you, how it work, over here, it will get this question embedding, then do a semantic search in the vector store that we have, rank the result, give it to the LMM, LLM, and give us the answer to the user in the end. And that is basically what's happening in the background. And here is the answer. Use GBT4 model, print over massive, corded core, core base of assistant structure, including word, problem, story, stuff like this. But if I ask a question for the second BDF, for Mr. How the how was the Mr. model trained? It will go search for the chunk, embedding, get, get it to the LLM, then come back with the answer. It is with the Mr. model was trained using large scale supervised learning, where the model was exposed to vast amount of text data, blah blah blah, and all the stuff. I ask it a specific question about the structure that is used in the Mr. model, and it's transformer architect actually so here the model the mr model is built using transformer architect specifically combined d5 text model and this is 
correct because I read the B bar actually. And here you can see in this video how mixer of X bar work. Actually, it's a very nice video. Not because I made it, because it's simplify how it's work actually. And that's basically it. This is how you can build a symbol rag using PDF or text documentation. If you have any questions, just put it in a comment and I'm going to do my best to answer it fast as I can. And I hope that you learned something new from this video. Please subscribe and hit the like and notification button. And see you in the next video.